Okay, folks, let's go see some missile technology. Over here is the termite, which came from the Soviet Union. Did destroy an Israeli battleship in the Six Day War. We also have some of the old Pegasus and Matadors and US Air Force cruise missiles. This is from 1976, developed by Boeing. Also bragging rights, this is pretty cool. F-15 literally shot one of these up at a satellite in space. If anyone knows the orbit mileage of that satellite, it would be greatly appreciated. But this is the missile that was used to be able to take out a satellite in space orbit. You don't want to see this coming your way in the morning time. Poseidon I mean, I mean, missile. Like the, the power of today's missiles make this look laughable which is quite scary. This is a concept Falcon missile. And then you can see with missiles also came space missions. Some of the technologies that were used, including a Nike missile over there. These were commonly put at round cities for civil defense, self-defense against the then Soviet Union or anybody else. There's a Pac-2 missile. And then you're gonna look at some of the engines here. These are fascinating because some of these powered both missiles and space missions, both civilian and military purpose. The amount of horsepower makes your pickup truck look like nada. Here are some early propelled weapons. I believe that's a Nike missile as well there. Please do correct me if I screw something up. I think that was the astronaut's prayer, although they had an F-bomb in that. The Redstone rocket engine is, of course, very historic. V2 combustion chamber. The bat missile. As well as the, I won't pronounce this. Anybody German or who can speak German, please do. <laughs> won't mess that up. And then, of course some of the American Cold War missiles here.